All right, guys, this one's gonna sting a little bit. This is my theory on why Matco Tools wants to nix the blue tool line. Let me know what you guys think, but I'm pretty sure I got this one figured out. Here is my opinion on why Matco Tools is wanting to not do the blue tool line anymore. They're not wanting to expand the line. This is strictly my theory. It's my thoughts on why I believe it's happening. And once I explain this, I think you guys will agree with me. Okay, first of all, let me say I love Matco Tools. This is not really meaning to be negative toward Matco. It's just my kind of theory on why they're not going to keep the blue tool line going. From my understanding, they're going to keep the blue ratchets. The blue ratchets are here to stay. They're not going anywhere, but they want to stop the line. They don't want to do the pry bars. They don't want to do hammers. They don't want to do anything else, right? They just want to kill all the blue. And the reason was the integrity of the company. They don't want to copy Cornwell. First of all, let me be very clear when I say this. I'm not buying that bullshit. That ain't nothing but a line of crap. If that was the case, you wouldn't have red because we all know the king of marketing and tools is Snap-on, right? It's no secret. They can sell a bottle opener for 80 bucks, okay? Snap-on is the king of marketing. They, if the true deal with the colors was they don't want to copy nobody, they wouldn't have red to start with. They sure wouldn't have green. You know, that's a bunch of crap. Snap-on spent millions of dollars in their marketing department and they figured out tool colors sell. They work, they work well. Okay, so I ain't buying the, I don't want to copy Cornwell. That's a bunch of crap. Here's my theory on the whole deal on why we don't want to see the line expanded, okay? It's no secret, Matco does not make anything but their toolboxes. No secret. Everybody already knows that, right? So for a company not to be able to walk out into its factory and say, hey, pump me out some blue and this, 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 and this, or let's just dip the handles, cost that company a whole lot more money. So I'm, my theory is Matco has to spend a lot of money to purchase special order colors such as blue, okay? Let's take the pry bars, prime example. If they go to Mayhew, they're probably gonna have to order several thousand sets of pry bars. If they don't sell them, then Matco's stuck with them, right? So they're not going to follow the model that Snap-on's already laid out that tool colors sell. They want to stick with the green and the orange because they're the most popular color. So that's my theory behind it. They don't want to go out on a limb and buy a bunch of tools and be stuck with blue. Strictly my theory. I have no idea if that's true, but that's what I'm thinking. That's the way I feel about it. And I just want to put that out there because you guys are worried about the blue ratchets going away and not being able to finish your collection. That's not gonna be the case. They're still gonna have the blue ratchets, but they're not gonna do the line in blue. So don't buy the blue ratchets in hopes that you're going to complete your entire collection of blue tools, hammers, screwdrivers, pry bars, impacts to be different from the guy that works in your shop because everybody's got red, everybody's got green, everybody's got orange. Do not go solely on the fact that you are going to change the world. I guess unless Matt Co comes out with a statement saying we're going to make blue a primary color we're going to keep blue in the whole line going forward don't spend your money on blue ratchets in hopes to change matco's opinion and don't do it for the reason of i want to have a completely different handle color than everybody else in my shop because it may not happen i just don't want to see you guys spending money for this cause to speak and be disappointed later because it sounds like it's already the rules are written. That's kind of the what direction they want to go. And that's my theory on it. I'm not buying the Cornwell blue shit. Like they can feed that line to somebody else. Okay. And I'm throwing that out there. It's a hundred percent true. It is what it is. So keep that in mind. But the brachets are there. If you guys still want to buy blue, they're not doing away with them. But they want to put the brakes on the rest of the line. So 
there's my theory. Good luck with it. See ya.